Hello all, welcome to rotanews.com. In this session, we'll discuss about a package name sys.htp.p and let us understand why it is used and uh, how we can use it and what is the functionality of it. So here, there are three words in the sys.htp.p. The sys stands for a schema in Oracle, which is a sys schema, and HTTP stands for hypertext procedures a package which has a lot number of logic for generating HTML content and the P stands for printing. So it's like a printing and hypertext using PL SQL. So why do we use it? We generally use it this particular package for the purpose of generating the HTML content in the response. And it is almost similar to DBMS output dot put underscore line, which we generally use it for the purpose of printing the log in the SQL star plus console or SQL developer. So similarly, we use this particular sys.htp.p procedure for the purpose of generating the HTML content at runtime. So when you say HTML content, it can be a table, a text box, checkbox, text area, image, a lot number of things will come into picture. So in, in our demo today, we'll just discuss a couple of samples. So like um, you can also get some more information about this package. So you can find out whether this package is available in your FX schema or not. And also, you can, if at all, if you want to get the source code of it, you can get the source code of it. So not sure how complicated it is as because it is a, a package written by the product team. So definitely it will have a lot number of functionalities. You can check it out. And the sample we'd like to design is a similar one like this. Okay. Now we'll just go to Apex application and uh, let us try to build this particular sample. So I'll just go to Apex application now. Click on App Builder. If at all, if you already have an uh, application, you can ignore creating application. You can directly create a page or else you can just simply create an application also. A dynamic web page app. And we'll say, simply create a page, a blank page. Dynamic web page. So what are we trying to do is we want to generate the HTML content at runtime. So we know that whenever you create any component in our club X, it finally it will generate the HTML content. So instead of Apex generating HTML content, we are writing HTML content and Apex will consider that. So now we are in a blank page. You can just run this one. As of now, it should be an empty. Yeah, just a blank content. Now what we do is in this one, we'll just create a new static region. And here, make sure that you select the legacy kind of region because we just want to consider the PL SQL logic. So PL SQL dynamic content legacy. So now what we want to do is we want to write the logic. So I already have a logic which I have written just now. So I'll just try to write a couple of things now. So the first thing we can try it out is like, let us say we want to write a simple hello world kind of thing right so i'll just say what you do is just create a package declare begin kind of thing and this one you can just simply mention this dot htp dot this one and print the hello world information in the output so for now just click on save and click on run and let's see whether it displays the header part yes perfectly so it is displaying the header part hello to comma or X. Now, let us say if you would like to display a other kind of content, a table region, or maybe, you know, like a text area or something like that. So we can try that. So let's say I would like to display text area. So what I can do is table area. So I'll just say, so now here, if you observe, maybe I can just language as SQL. So here, if you observe, this one, I just mentioned it as dynamic table. And here, what are we doing is we are just trying to generate a table, HTML table at runtime. And also we are printing the content of content of the data from a table, like uh, I meant to say EMP table. So what are we doing is we are reading the data and each particular record of this particular table, we are converting into HTML table. So TR stands for table row, TD stands for table data. Okay. And there's a parent type for the table. So here the parent, here the table starts here and a table row and this is the table header nothing but a like a column name i can say and then each row we are printing the it's like tr is a t table row and each it's a column emp number as well as emp name so now just copy this one 
and uh, just try to replace the similar content here. Just run it. You should be able to see the table data. Okay. Now let's say if you told if you want to print some other content, like a text box, some kind of checkbox, and other things, or text area. Let's say I'd like to print text area. So I just copy this logic. So here I'd like to print text area. So you can ignore the div class kind of concept, but you can just observe this particular component called text area. So this is a major element in the HTML for the purpose of printing the text area in the output. So or in the browser, I mean to say. Okay. This is the text area. This is how it looks like. Uh, finally, we just check a few more. Let's say if at all if I want to write this dot HTTP dot P. I'll say input type is equal to text. Text box. Right. Just print here, copy here, run it. Text box. Maybe if at all, if you want to have checkbox, right? I'll just copy the content here. Radio checkbox. I'll just copy this. If at all, if you want to have a new line, right? You can make use of break rule br. Copy this and now let's try again. Okay, so now we are able to print a table region, text area, text box, checkbox, as well as radio. So similarly, we can try a lot number of things also. So this is how we can use the sys.htv.p in the Oracle Apex to dynamically generate an HTML content. Thank you.